What we need is our families. Speed justice. It is the pain of a family that has been agonizing over the circumstances that occasioned the murder of 27-year-old Eric Macau Musioka. <laughs> and the family believes it is this man, his own uncle, that was behind it. No, ni me kuta flasa na. Ni kuhusiana. Ni kuhusiana na mawadi ya Eric. I never did it. Don't know that story very well. And now the law may finally be catching up with Kasioki, who remained at large despite the damning allegations and a police indictment. The director of public prosecutions in reacting to Citizen TV's expose said in a tweet that his attention had been drawn to the Citizen TV story, adding, quote, due to the nature of this case, the DPP has directed that immediate legal steps be taken to ensure justice is done, end quote. The Directorate of Criminal Investigations also told Citizen TV Monday that renewed efforts to arrest the man were underway. But Kasioki is also now under siege on the business front. In a one-line statement, insurer ICA Lion, where the suspect has been working for the better part of the year as a unit sales agent leader, says it has since terminated his contract, citing unspecified terms of agreement with the company. He had previously been a manager and agent with Jubilee Insurance, where he left late last year. Detectives suspect that Kasioki is the one who arranged for the life insurance policy in the name of his nephew and then allegedly planned for his murder. And after the 27-year-old who had no formal employment died, the accused immediately commenced the insurance claim of 9 million shillings, as seen in this document in Citizen TV's possession. One worth 1 million shillings with Jubilee Insurance and the other worth 8 million shillings with AIG Insurance. Citizen TV also obtained details showing that the Directorate of Criminal Investigations at Kangundo Police Station had issued a warrant of arrest against the accused man as early as August 22, 2017. But it remains unclear why it was never effected. And despite him being detained at the Central Police Station at the time of Citizen TV's investigation and later transported to Kangundo Police Station, he was somehow released. For a man who is now effectively on the run and just having lost his job, it may prove even harder to escape the police net with efforts boosted towards his arrest to have him answer to his alleged part in the murder of a 27-year-old man whose family has been agonizing and for them if not just for closure for answers as to how his young life was snatched from him jackie marie citizen tv nairobi